Hey, what's going on? Welcome back, guys, to SMD Fishing. I know we're supposed to be fishing right now, but it called off a rain in about two seconds. <laughs> I'm going to use this day to go ahead and keep working on the boat. So today I'm going to be working on my rod locker right there. I'll show you guys in a few pictures of what it took to get to that point where it has a, lar have a large hole in the boat, pretty much. So initially I was trying to figure out the dimensions of what I wanted my rod locker to be. How many rods I wanted, um, and how, you know, the depth, how wide I wanted this. So what I did was base it off the, the boat's drain, draining ports here. So I said, um, I want to, you know, still have some leg room, but I want this thing to still be, you know, still be in a straight line. So I use this as my guideline. So I only wanted this much room for my rods. I didn't want to take up too much space of the boat. So what I did was take maybe you know, a piece of plywood or a couple pieces of plywood to get almost close to what it would, what it would be like if I had my floor down. And that's where I based my initial line off of. Uh, well, well, the lowest point I could go. All right, so then I marked that off and made a template. A template of the size that I wanted as far as rod locker storage. And this template here was, again, just a rough, rough draft. How far apart, uh, the amount of rods, I'd be hold eight rods. Uh, the distance of my rod locker from this back seat all the way up to the front can fit, I believe, an eight foot rod. I don't have any eight foots, but just in case, right? So I have that much space available. Now the reason I have this top section here cut out, let me get a rod. Once I slide my rods in, I wanted to have enough clearance. So if I'm sliding down, you know, to the lower hole kind of thing, enough clearance from this back seat, this back seat here, enough clearance for the rod to go in, and lay down to go all the way in to the rod, rod locker. So that's why I gave myself just a little extra clearance here to make, make sure that was enough distance. Instead of if I started it right here where you see the template at, if I started it at this seat, I will only have from this back seat to there as far as my angle in order to get that in. And we're talking about maybe a three and a half foot gap, no, probably maybe a four foot gap. Okay, so a 41 inch gap. <laughs> I didn't think that was an adequate amount of space to fit this on that angle to get down to at least the lowest hole. Uh, as far as the top holes, I think that might work as far as that gap, but just to give myself a little bit more space to bend the rod down and get all the way in. All right, so again, this template was just spacing wise. I drew out what I wanted, the space I wanted, and also I gave myself a little extra. How I determine that, don't ask me. <laughs> now I kind of just took half the distance of this, this bench here, gave myself about another six, seven inches worth of clearance. I should be okay. But this right here, this will not be the location of where my, my holes are gonna be at. My holes will be on this wall here. Okay, and that gives me even more space to make that angle press in. The, my holes will be here, my tubes will come out the other side and lay, lay along this section here. Okay, so that template, like I said, that template right there is just saying this is how much space it's going to take. Now I'm going to use this template to put it up against here, draw up my holes where they need to be so I can insert my tubes, etc. I'm gonna use this template to go ahead and draw out the holes so I can slide my tubing in, and we'll go from there. And as you see on this other side, I already got lines and stuff uh, drawn out. This is where it should come out to. With my you know, measurements, and like I said, I'm going along with the drainage port as my guideline. So that drainage port runs from the front of the boat, you know, all the way straight through to the back. So that was my guideline as far as my rod locker. I run majority bait casters. I have a few a few spinning reels, but this is my largest largest guide. And that's all the way back here. That's actually the last guide on my rod back here by the reel. And that that dimension there, that thickness there is not even close to an inch and a half. So that's why 
wasn't necessarily worried about it. That's seven foot rod right there. That's how much space I have here. Plenty, plenty of extra leeway from this point on. Okay, and I don't plan on jamming these up in here anyway to damage my rod tips. So, all right, so let's get to it. Let's go ahead and make the rod locker. Let's go ahead and make some holes inside of here so we can insert our piping or tubing, <laughs> insert our tubing through here. As you see here, I made a template out of, car out of cardboard. Uh, this was my first, I guess, first draft. Uh, these are one and three quarter inch holes right here. Using using this bit here, I mean, I know it's made for more, you know, heavy duty uh, applications, but this works just fine. This is my first draft. I didn't like how it used to have like a little skinny section, fatter section, skinnier, and it's not necessarily directly in line with where it needs to be. So I ended up telling myself, hey, make a point. Uh, this is two, inch, two inches from the edge, uh, and this is five and a half inches from this edge, okay? Make a point, make a line, so you have a straight line on both sides. So, second template, you get your two inch, five and a half inch, same thing, two inch, five and a half inch marks. Get a straight edge, you match those two lines up, there's your straight line, and you have all your holes in a straight line, okay? So now to get the proper distance between each hole, right, for your rod locker. And some guys do it however they want to do it. If they want to make, you know, different angles, if you want to go here, here, to there, to there, it's all up to how you want to do it. But I chose, I only want to carry about eight rods. It's fine with me. Um, I don't plan on carrying any more. And if I do, I'll put them inside my truck. I don't, <laughs> we'll work that out. But just for my rod locker, I'll have a total of eight. Uh, available slots for my rods but what I did to make it a straight line as well as keep that same distance on that straight line um, I made once I made my initial first hole I, I measured from the tip of this edge here to I guess where this is about to be so I measured pretty much as you can see three quarters three quarters of an inch between here and the bottom section of my next hole yeah once I made that mark then I'll go ahead let it rip. Yeah. Okay, so seven and a half. Seven and a half by seven and a half by eleven. This is why I can't go fishing today. So I chose an inch and a quarter uh, PVC pipe. Fits through perfectly. And an inch and three quarter bit. Always wear protection, man. All right, so I'm measuring out three feet of PVC pipe to cut. And where I got that three feet from was the distance from where my holes are gonna be at, all the way up to, well, a comfortable distance from the holes to this wall. Nice straight cut instead of me, you know, hacking with a hacksaw. Slide her right there. Sorry about all the noise. I got another one already cut here. And I'm just figuring out how I want to make it real snug into that. So I put some, uh, <laughs> I started with painter's tape. And I put some black electrical tape on it. And you put that in. And I think it worked out pretty good to making it snug. Just kind of snug her in there. So that's what it'll end up looking like, nice and snug. I plan on having lights right there up on my rods in. But you get your rod and you slide her down. Otherwise I like it. Like I said before, this will, this will, this will have a hatch to itself. It'll open up so I can put all my rods down through, close it down, and I want to be able to lock it on this side. So in case I actually stop somewhere on my tackle, Stuff like that can be locked up, especially my rods. I, think I can I can buy some uh, you know some worms at Walmart, <laughs> but don't feel like buying new rods. I uh, use my little template, tape that. I tape that template up, marked it. Uh, you know, drew, drew my lines, marked it out, and try to stay consistent. I think it came out pretty good.
All right, well, well, guys, that's it. That's it for this video. All right, this is just a quick setup of how I want things to be. I got my bait casters up top, I get my spinner rods at the bottom. And so far, she lines up very nicely. Looks pretty, pretty good. Um, I probably have to buy one more PVC to finish these top two holes. <laughs> I'm not going to be leaving cardboard as far as, but I think that would be a good little, you know, whether it's treated wood or we'll figure it out. Um, but I like how it keeps them divided, keeps them in sync. I was just trying to keep it up <laughs> from how I was. They were falling everywhere. I was getting tired of it. I was like, hmm, how about I just put it inside my template? Looks pretty good to me. That's going to be tackle extra stuff which is going to extra stuff's going to slide around into here and i'll probably have my battery sitting here for coming up through here to a hopefully recess foot control trolling motor okay because recessing this i think i have to cut out around that and cutting this aluminum is not necessarily the funnest thing in the world so but i digress but that's the end of my rod locker so far well i guess so far so far she looks good. So far she looks good. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see how this, how this uh, jar boat to bass boat conversion turns out. Uh, thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a great one. See you guys on the next one.